Welcome to Planet Vehicle, an automotive reality show. Planet Vehicle helps the viewer experience the world of automobiles. We review new cars and take you on test drives. We talk with the heads of the automotive industry to find out what products their companies are bringing to the showroom. Transportation is a large part of lifestyle. We bring you athletes, business leaders, and celebrities at events where cars, SUVs, and motorcycles are featured and highlighted. Classic cars, new cars, or futuristic cars, Planet Vehicle puts them in the spotlight. Planet Vehicle introduces you to car clubs, takes you to auto shows, and reports from the racetrack. In addition to our television program, Planet Vehicle's website keeps you updated on the latest news and trends, while our viewer appreciation events provide the opportunity to mingle, network, and experience new and exciting models straight off the assembly line. An automobile is a huge purchase. Planet Vehicle shows you how to take great care of your investment, whether it's safety, maintenance, or ideas to customize your vehicle. Join us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and the web. Planet Vehicle brings you the world of automobiles. Hey, it's Alvin Jones for Planet Vehicle. I'm coming to you from Cincinnati, Ohio. Across from me is Paul Brown Stadium where the Cincinnati Bengals play. And behind me, as you can see, it's the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center. We are here taking a look at the Toyota Avalon, as you can see right over there. It's on display. And the new model for Toyota is Let's Go Places. So we're going places right here on Planet Vehicle. Hi, I'm Jack Hollis, and I am Toyota's Vice President of Marketing, and I get a chance to tell you about this phenomenal new car, the Toyota Avalon. Now for 2013, it is all new, and it has been designed, engineered, manufactured, and it'll be sold and serviced all right here in the U.S., which really is a, a beginning of a new era for Toyota, where it just embodies the teamwork of the American spirit into this great new car. Now, it also just talks about the American consumer as our number one focus. And I'm excited to tell you that it ties directly into the spirit of let's go places with our guests. So let's take a look at a little about this Avalon. Okay, so while, while this is the all new Avalon, it does continue a tradition and really a momentum that is building in our company. And here's what it is. That's to build more exciting products in the U.S. for the U.S. But it's also about an excitement of our products that Akio Toyota, our global president and really leader, has challenged us with. And that is, you think about it, last year with the Camry, all new Camry, uh, Prius family, Scion FRS, really adding a lot more emotion and really personality and excitement to all of our cars. And so a customer who's looking for an Avalon, maybe looking for, okay, how about some more increased performance, driving dynamics, this has got it. Aggressive styling, well, it's all new on the Avalon. And it does so with excellent fuel economy that you would never expect out of a premium mid-size car. This one has it. It's really the beginning of so many terrific products that are still coming out to add, like I said, the excitement and emotion to our product lineup. For the Avalon, ultimately, only the name is remaining the same. Everything else, all new. It's such a great car. One of my favorite aspects of the all-new Toyota Avalon, well, it's the hybrid model. Why? Well, because it's the first time we've ever offered a hybrid powertrain on the Avalon. Now, the hybrid synergy drive, we all know it for being efficient, but it's also extremely powerful. We put the combination together and the Avalon is able to achieve a 40 mile per gallon rating combined, which is phenomenal for a vehicle in the premium midsize segment. Now, what do these other cars have in common? How about a, Volks, a Volkswagen Beetle? Uh, how about a Fiat 500? How about a Mini Cooper? How about a smart car? We're all considered really high mileage vehicles, uh, miles per gallon vehicles, right? How about the fact that Avalon gets better MPG than any of those? Pretty cool, huh? This has really taken this entire package of great styling, putting it together with phenomenal performance, amazing fuel economy, and we're going cool places with it. I know I'm a bit biased about this great car. I, I gotta be right. But here's the deal. All new aggressive styling that from anyone's point of view sets it apart from the entire segment. 
incredible fuel economy that is truly outperforming its competitors. You got this driving dynamics, and I know you're gonna have to trust me, you're just sitting here static, but you gotta trust me, it is such a fun vehicle. And what does this all mean? Well, it means that together we're going to really be seen as delivering more options, more opportunity for more drivers. Younger drivers, more diverse drivers, people who may be just a little bit more aggressive, wanna have a little more fun. It really comes together in this package of Avalon. You gotta check it out. I'm impressed by it, and I'm pretty sure once you sit in it, drive it, check it out, you're gonna be impressed too. So thanks for checking in. Let's go places. Hi, my name is Randy Stevens, Chief Engineer of the all new Toyota Avalon. For those of you who don't know what a Chief Engineer does, it's our job to coordinate all the different factors, whether it's manufacturing, styling, or design engineering, and put all that together and make sure we develop a great vehicle by the end of the project. I'd like to talk to you about three key areas of the new Avalon that our team is especially proud of. Uh, the first one is the bold and aggressive styling. Uh, we were able to keep the bold and aggressive styling theme that Kelty gave us while including our targets for interior space and roominess. That's a really key factor. Uh, the second one is dynamic performance. It's a true passion of mine and my team is to really change the way Avalon drives and change the way the Toyota brand is seen as a dynamic performance leader. So I'm really excited for everybody to try this Avalon out. It's going to be fantastic. The third key item is technology. Again, we've had a lot of emphasis on adding easy to use technology to the Avalon. One of the key areas is adding our hybrid Synergy drive system. This is a fantastic application in a full-size family sedan and you're able to get 40 mile per gallon in this car which is just amazing in today's uh, world. So anyway, I invite you to try it. We're really proud of it and can't wait for it. One of the things the team is really proud of with this all new Avalon is the dynamic performance, the way it handles and the fact that it's fun to drive. So we started with the body rigidity and improving the base fundamentals of the vehicle, tuning the suspension to make it more spirited and fun to drive. And we've added a few key features that I think will really differentiate ourselves from everybody else. Some of the things I'd like to show you is the three mode switches. Um, we have three driving modes in the Avalon. We have sport, normal, and eco mode. The sport mode specifically uh, adjusts the steering feel and precision and also the throttle response to give you a little bit more spirited feeling to the throttle. The second item I'd like to show you is the paddle shifters. When, we, uh, when you're driving along and you're having kind of a fun to drive moment on a windy road, you can use the paddle shifters to either do a quick upshift or a downshift with rev matching to make your uh, transmission and your throttle more closely matched together. It's a lot of fun. Uh, and the final thing is the steering wheel. We've really taken a lot of time with the Avalon high grade steering wheel. We've added a, a thick urethane padding for a nice diameter with a smooth leather and then also added unique stitching so it's a good feeling for your hands. So all of these things together, the body rigidity, the suspension and all these uh, unique features really make Avalon fun to drive and we're really proud of this. My favorite part of the campaign is honestly driving around the city doing all these amazing stunts, you know. My character needs to get from A to B and needs to do it really quickly, smooth. And the great thing is because, you know, the car is an Avalon and, you know, the guys that are after my character are looking for an Avalon. But because of the car is so well and redesigned, it doesn't look like an Avalon. I'm pretty excited. I think people are going to like this commercial because it feels like a movie. We got some beautiful shots, amazing shots. And you know, the Avalon has always been a good car. You know, it's uh, an affordable luxury car. People like the car. This is a step up for that. We have a really good director called Anthony Hoffman who's shot a lot of commercials, walked through a lot of actors, you know, and pulling them together. And, you know, I found the whole process quite 
what's the word, man? It was, it was a good challenge for me. I've never done a commercial before, and this is a great challenge. doing the uh, getaway scene, you know, I had to reverse it and get it out of there really quick. And you hit that sports mode and you just feel the engine tour and go bow. <laughs> kind of like a little turbo thing for you. Really good experience, lots of great shots, lots of good driving, good car, good actors, it's a good team. Overall been a really pleasant experience, but I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and drive around in my new Avalon, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Is this my one? This is my one, right? Yeah, say yes. We're driving a Bugatti, and you're watching Planet Vehicles. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Alvin Jones. Do not go anywhere. We're going to take a ride in a convertible Miata. The Miata comes with a two liter double overhead cam engine, 16 valves, putting out 184 horsepower, 140 pound feet of torque. It's matched with a six speed manual transmission. Also, it's rear wheel drive. It gives you that sportiness and that feel and the power to keep you on the road and handle it. You've got front and rear stabilizer bars, also a shock tower brace so that you can stop. It's got ventilated front disc on the front and solid brake disc on the rear. Also, you have electronic power assisted rack and pinion steering, front double wishbone suspension, also to help that handling. In the back, you've got the rear multi-link suspension, sport tuned suspension with Bilstein shocks. One of the fun things about the uh, Mazda Miata for 2013 with the uh, power retractable hard top is that it's a solid hard top, not cloth. And then on a sunny day like today, you just retract it, put it in the back. When it beeps, it says you're ready and take off. So now we're inside of the Mazda Miata and that's where the fun comes because you get a chance to drive it and zoom zoom down the road. As you can see, this has a black interior with red stitching. It's got the uh, console for storage right here because you're not carrying a lot of stuff here because this basically, as you can see, is a two-seater. Just you and whoever you want to ride with you. Uh, when you put the top down, you also have here the uh, arrow mesh board that cuts down on some of the wind noise and the wind blowing your hair. I've got a cable here where I can connect my iPhone or whatever device you use to play your music so you can have fun fun as you zoom zoom down the road. Let's take a look at some of the features. It comes with the true red color, 17 inch alloy wheels, 205, 45R17 high performance tires. Also, if you got the body colored front and rear bumpers to make it look nice for you. It comes with an aluminum hood, dual exhaust outlets in silver. Also, you have the black power retractable hard top, that's better known as the PRHT, halogen headlights, fog lights, for 2013, the Mazda Miata comes with a 36-month, 36 36,000-mile 36 
bumper to bumper warranty, a 50 month, 50,000 mile powertrain warranty. You also get 24 hour roadside assistance. It also comes with anti-lock brakes with electronic brake force distribution. Dynamic stability control, traction control. Let's not forget, you get the advanced front and side airbags and side impact door beams. So let's take a look at the price. Manufactured suggested retail price for the Miata, 28,465. Delivery is 795. Our total, 29,260. So there it is, a look at the new 2013 Mazda Miata MX-5. For Planet Vehicle, of course, you know, I'm Alvin Jones. We're driving a Bugatti, and you're watching Planet Vehicles. Stay tuned. Once again, it's Alvin Jones. Today, we're going to take a look at the 2013 Santa Fe by Hyundai, right here on Planet Vehicle. For 2013, the Hyundai Santa Fe comes with a 2.4 liter gasoline direct injection engine. It also puts out, oh, 190 horsepower, 181 pound feet of torque, and uh, gives you 29 miles to the gallon on the highway, 21 in the city, 24 combined, and it's matched with a six speed automatic transmission. Let's take a look at the comfort and convenience on the Santa Fe, like the 17-inch alloy wheels with the P3565-17 tires, LCD headlight accents, body color rear spoiler with LED brake lights. Also, you have your rear window wiper, remote keyless entry system with alarm, stain-resistant cloth seats. You have your 40-20-40 split folding rear seats, driver-selectable steering wheel, steering wheel mounted cruise control, audio, and phone control. AM, FM, Sirius, XM, CD, MP3 with iPad, USB, and auxiliary input jacks. Sirius X. So with Hyundai, they call their warranty America's best warranty. It's five years, 60,000 miles. It's a new vehicle warranty. And 10 years, 100,000 miles for the powertrain. You get a seven year unlimited mile anti perforation warranty and five years unlimited miles roadside assistance. This one comes with the popular equipment package for $950. You get your roof side rails, your front fog lights, automatic headlight control, heated exterior mirrors, power driver's seat with lumbar support. Also, you get heated front seats. The option that we have on this particular model, one of them was the technology package. That's $2,700. You get the panoramic sunroof to let the sun in, a navigation system with 8-inch touchscreen, also XM nav traffic. They give you 90 days free on that. The audio comes from the premium dimension sound system. Also, the steering wheel is heated, and you have a manual real side shade for the windows. Let's take a look at the rear of the Santa Fe. You've got your cargo area here. And as you can see, the seats are 40, 20, 40 rear seats folding. And if you want, say you got cargo and you need to fold the seats, instead of going all the way around, you can just pull this lever here. And that goes down. Pull this lever here. That goes down. And right over here is the subwoofer for your Dimension uh, audio system. All right, so I'm sitting in the back of the Santa Fe. You know, I always have to do the Alvin Jones sits in the back and see how much room we have. So I'm sitting here. You got a couple of inches here. I've got a few inches up here. Now, one of the things I do like is I'm sitting back here. Uh, the option that comes with this particular one that we're test driving, you have heated seats in the back, which I think is kind of cool. And, you know, don't take this wrong, Ulysses, but I also have sunshades in case I don't want to be bothered. Hey, it's Alvin Jones from Planet Vehicle. We are here at El Toro. It used to be a military base, but now it has been invaded by Nissan for the Nissan 360. Beautiful day today, and here's what we're doing. We're now over at the Performance and Technology Center, and right here is where we're gonna get a chance to test drive some great cars. We've got the Nissan 370Z Roadster, which is the convertible, the 370Z Coupe. That's a six-speed, believe it or not. Also, we have the 370 Nismo, and you're not going to believe this, but you have to because it's true. There is a leaf 
we've got it in a race form, a Nismo RC, which means race car. All that's coming up right here. I'm going to get a chance to test drive it, and I'm going to take you along with me. So keep it right here to Planet Vehicle. We are here for the uh, Nissan 360 Experience here at El Toro. This used to be a, uh, a military base, but now with all of the uh, landing strips, it becomes a tarmac. So we're going to have fun. Believe it or not, this is a Leaf, a Nissan Leaf, but it's been Nismoed out. And so it's called the uh, Nismo RC, which means race car. The, the coolest thing that you're going to find about this is that you don't hear the car roll as it goes down the road. You don't hear the engine. What you do is you hear all the dust that kicks up. So we're getting ready to get in right now. And I'm getting in. Now, the way this is designed is really designed like a race car because there's no, there's no steering wheel right here. I got to get the steering wheel. And they're helping me. I need to scoot up. OK. Scooty, scooty, oh, get the belly. Uh, let's see, um, maybe back just a little bit. So this is brake and go, right? Push back, I'm there. As far as I can go here. Okay, so we got that. So we're strapped in. So this is just like, this is a race car basically. All right, and you are? I'm Steve Doherty, the 2012 GT Academy winner. All right, so this is all a part of the GT Academy also. Yeah, got to show, uh, normal people how how things are in race cars and give them a little experience so okay. so can anybody join the GT Academy yeah basically uh, anybody who has a PlayStation 3 or can borrow one from one of their friends can can play Gran Turismo online and if you're one of the fastest gamers in the country then uh, you can go to national finals and possibly become the next uh, racing driver for Nissan okay so for me I I'm not a racing gamer I just got a little bit of game so they let me drive this so you're gonna close the door for me? All right, thanks, George. So George is here, is gonna close the door. All right, you're gonna hold this, because I need both hands to drive this. Right. Now, what's the first thing I do? First thing we do is uh, a tight make here. sure you're good with the pedals. Okay, pedal here. Pedals are good. Great. Okay. All right. So now the car is on. So it's, it's on. on. All right, so now we are taking it off. I, I like that little woo. Sounds like Back to the Future, it's the Star Trek stuff. But what I'm noticing, I don't hear an engine, but I do hear the um, the rumbling of of the rocks as everything goes. So we got the red light, so we're waiting for the green light. With this, uh, you need to be careful at the end, it gets very tight in okay. the uh, first chicane. So. Now, how is the braking on this as compared to uh, what I did earlier, the 370Zs? Uh, I think you'll be surprised the brakes are really strong in this car. Okay. It does have a lot of grip. The track is very dirty, so... Uh, depending where you are on the track, it can be deceiving. You want to kick, kick up a little dust there. Yeah, for sure. All right, so we got the green light, so let's go. Ah, I forgot about the torque. So it's okay, we're coming down. So now I do all of this, I get out, rotate the, rotate the button out, okay, take off the steering wheel, and I feel like Bill Cosby, and take off the steering wheel and get out of my car because it's electric. So thank you very much. Can people reach you by email, Twitter, or anything? I am on uh, Twitter and Facebook. Uh, Twitter is SteveDoherty023, which is Nissan, mm -hmm. and uh, Facebook is my name. So, so search Steve Doherty with Nissan at the end and you'll find me. All right, so thanks Steve Doherty. So here we go. Oh, get out of here. Yes. It is the Leaf Nismo RC race car. We'll be back with more. Keep it right here to plan the vehicle.